this episode, episode six of Gako Guraishi. What an episode. What an episode. It's like, who do I thank for this episode right now? I gotta say thank you to someone right now. I swear. I swear, man. All right. Gako Guraishi. Episode six. There's a lot of things I want to talk about, okay? But first, let me talk about something that none of you guys are thinking about right now, okay? At least 99% of you guys are not thinking about this right now, okay? How many of you paid attention during the opening? Because we got something new this time within the opening. Now, if you remember about two weeks ago when we first met Kay, I said that I believe she left the room to commit suicide. I noticed that I was pretty much the only one who said that. No one else really agreed with me or something like that. It's not like you guys are all like, there's no way that's possible. It's just, I don't know. You guys thought that maybe there's a possibility that she's alive. After the opening of this episode, I am literally 95% sure that she actually did leave the room to commit suicide. Because you see, the scene that we get with her in the opening is that you see it's dark, okay? And you see that she's walking through the mall where all the zombies are. I'm pretty sure she committed suicide, all right? She went in there so that the zombies could eat her because there was no hope in living for her in Kay's perspective, all right? I'm 95% sure. And you know, they mentioned her a couple more times at the end of this episode. So, you know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be brought up. So maybe we'll see her in zombie form. Okay. I am 95% sure guys. Okay. That girl committed suicide. She knew what she was doing. Kay knew what she was doing. Okay. All right. So all the other stuff I got to talk about. The difference between Mikun and Yuki, it was done so well within this episode. Oh, so well. When we went from delusion to reality, from Yuki's perspective to Mikun's perspective, executed so well. It was amazing. Amazing. It's like, like I said, it, like, who do I have to thank for this episode? Who do I have to thank? Okay. Whoever directed this episode, give that guy a raise. Give him a raise or her. All right. <laughs> Yo, that was well done. So well done. You saw the music and how it went. Oh, oh, that was nice. That was nice. Mm-hmm. So, now let's talk about the thing that everyone's mostly thinking about. Megune. If you remember last week, I said that I knew that it was official that she's dead after that flashback we got. But let's talk about what we saw with Megune in this episode. So, it looks like that she actually got bit, which is why the girls, why, why she trapped the girls, why she locked the girls out from the roof, okay? Because otherwise she could have joined them and she could have locked the door so that the zombies wouldn't come back, okay? But the only reason why I believe she locked the door was because you saw her arm is bleeding, okay? I'm positive she got bit, all right? So therefore there would be no point in her joining the girls, all right? Otherwise they could all get killed. So she most likely got bit, which is why she locked the girls out, okay? And so then all the zombies ended up, you know, eating her, okay? Because I don't think she got turned into a zombie. I'm, I'm pretty sure they ended up eating her. And then, you know, they made a grave for her and stuff. So, yeah. Oh. <sighs> we got to learn more about Rechon within this episode. And I, I like Rechon. I like her a lot. But we actually saw her get a little bit, you know, frustrated. So that was pretty interesting. We never really see me, um, me can, we never really see uh, Rechon like that. Because Rachel, she's normally calm and collected. She's more of the leader, okay, of the group. Even though, you know, Yuki's supposed to be. But, you know, Rachel is basically the leader. So, seeing her get a little frustrated there? Interesting. I want more backstory on her. Because I do like Rachel. I do. I do. Okay. <sighs> Executed so well. This episode. Everything was great. Pretty much a lot of things coming out throughout this week have been 
perfection, I've got to say. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Too many good stuff out. Too many good stuff, all right? I think I'm done. I think I'm done. This was, this was just too good. Too good, Gako Gurashi. All right, so catch me later as I do a reaction to Italia, the world twinkle. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.